Hi everyone, today's focus is arms and shoulders. Mums, you're going to be lifting and carrying heavy, roomy babies. So I'm going to show you five exercises you can do anywhere, anytime. These are going to give you strong and great looking arms. So first up we have an alternating shoulder press. This is going to keep your muscles constantly under tension, which is what's going to happen when you're carrying your baby. So what we want to do is have two dumbbells. You're going to bring them to shoulder height, palms facing forward. One arm is going to fully extend overhead, and then you're going to bring it back down and switch to the other one. So just for reference, I'm using 6 kgs, but we want to be able to lift a weight uh, comfortably and with good form 10 times in a row. So pick one that you're comfortable with. Remember to stay tall, chest out, and we want full range of motion to get the most out of this exercise. Next up, we have an alternating hammer curl. This is a great one for your bicep, for your forearms, and improving your grip strength. So we're going to curl one dumbbell up, and then lower it again, and then switch to the other arm. Key things to remember on this one is to avoid swinging your body when you do the curl. Make sure you keep your back nice and straight, and also don't let your elbow come forward too much. Keep your elbow next to your body as you do the curl. Number three, we've got alternating front raises, a great one for strengthening your shoulders. Hold your dumbbells right in front of your thighs and keep your arms straight throughout the movement. Lift one hand up to shoulder height, bring it back down again, switch to the other one. Remember not to swing when you lift your dumbbell up, stay nice and tall. Now we're doing a French press. This is going to target your triceps and help reduce any bingo wings. Take one dumbbell, hold it at one end. Arms overhead, this is your starting position. Lower the dumbbell behind your head and press. Key things to remember, to stay nice and tall and to not let your elbows flare out when you're doing the movement. Lastly, we're doing incline push-ups. It's just like a normal push-up, but the incline prevents extra stress on your belly and reduces the risk of you falling on your belly. So I'm going to do it against a wall, but you can also do it against a piece of furniture such as a bench or a sofa. Setting up, arms shoulder width apart, step back and keep your body straight. Remember to go slow on the way down. Keep in mind that it's easiest to get to a wall and the difficulty increases the lower you go.